Hi all, I finally released my Orbital Rescue game. I've released it on itch.io and amazingly within the first few days it's already had hundreds of downloads. There's been a few sites, gaming sites that have done little stories on it, there's a few uh, YouTube videos about it, the response has been amazing from what was just a little bit of uh, mucking around with a basic game which I compiled and um, yeah, it seems like a few people are interested in it which is great. And I'd also like to thank some of the guys from the Lemon64 forum who have contributed by doing some testing for me and also uh, contributing some sprites which I've used in the game. So, let's check it out. Hey, did you like my new intro video? My eight-year-old daughter did that. Way better than what I came up with. Anyway, this is the game. Um, what I'll do, I'll just go through it very briefly. I don't want to go into too much detail. There's, um, uh, have a look at the links in the description. I've got a, uh, uh, a previous video where I did a preview on it which went into the gameplay a little bit. And there's also some YouTube videos by others which uh, uh, give you a good idea of the way the game plays if you want to check that out. So I'll just keep this brief. Okay, so basically we're at a Lunar Lander, old style Lunar Lander game with a bit of action. So we've got a turret that shoots you and you've got some little crewmen to go rescue. And what I'll do in this video, I'll go into a little bit of a description of how I've created it. Um, okay, trying to play this game while talking, never never good. But there we go, we got him home. And I'll actually give you a, a little secret. There's a uh, test feature which I've left in the game. I suppose it's a little cheat. If you press L, you just advance to the next level. There's 20 levels, and uh, they get increasingly difficult. But basically what we've got here, we've got our spaceship here that's a sprite and at the moment the only sprites you see on the screen are, is the spaceship all the other graphics are character graphics and that's what I'll do today I'll go through how I've created some of these sprites and how I've created some of these character graphics that's the basics of how the the game the game's graphics works so oops so that's what I'll have a look at okay so here's the source code it's written in Commodore 64 Basic, but I'm using uh, CBM Program Studio, which is a free download. It allows you to uh, uh, edit and create your code on a modern PC. makes things a fair bit simpler. And it has these fantastic little tools, like this one for the character editor. Basically, character graphics is it is the it modifies the standard characters in the system and allows you to build uh, the graphics character by character. So even as far as the standard characters, what I've done, I've replaced them with a bit more uh, space age looking font, if you like, that I found somewhere. And if we go down here, we can start seeing some of the graphics, like here's our little man waving at you. The animation is just cycling between these two guys and uh, these two characters, and you get the guy waving at you. And from all of that, we can build um, all the graphics that you see, like this is the turret, that's the, the gun there as it swings around um, and there's our guy running so in the old character set that was a pie symbol, now he's a little running man so I build all that up in the um, print, uh, basic print function which is down here, this is where I print uh, the screen and all these odd characters like semicolons and equal signs and whatever are replaced with all those character graphics that you saw and that's how the uh, the screen is is rendered so here we have all these uh, graphics are just um, characters all built up and there's the turret and there's our, our little guys so that's character graphics next we'll have a quick look at sprites okay now let's have a look at some sprites. As I mentioned before, uh, the spaceship is really the only sprite that we're using. And this is a little block of graphics, uh, 24 by 21. And by default, the Commodore 64 has eight of them. Uh, there are various techniques to uh, generate more on the screen at one time, but uh, I just um, I stick with the eight uh, sprites that is the, the default. and. The good thing about them is you can just tell the Commodore 64 where to stick them on the screen. 
it's not like the character graphics which is fixed to all the character locations uh, you just give it XY coordinates and that's where it goes and there's also these cool features uh, called uh, collision detection so automatically you can detect when a sprite's collided with another sprite or collided with uh, some character graphics and that's uh, that's a technique I've used quite a bit in here so um, some additional sprites though actually aside from the spaceship are the bullets or bombs so that's a sprite coming from the turret and if I were to shoot there's a there's another little sprite and also the thrust that you see there is also oop, a sprite as well oop. <laughs> all right so in the code the sprites are stored using the data command and what all these numbers mean is basically this these uh, all that data was generated by this editor that's part of the uh, CBM PRG studio and you can simply click the dots to uh, create your graphics so there's a spaceship um, that's actually a different one than what I showed you here but uh, it's one of the three that's available and as you can see in the gameplay the ship can tilt left and right depending on which way you're going and that's represented by those. Now I've got a few extra little sprites here. That's the thrust, that's the bullet that you fire, and they're the bombs that come from the turret. And there's the eight. There, I've used all of the eight sprites available as standard. Like I said, you can do more, uh, but typically you're going to need to code that in machine language. I'm not sure that's going to be possible within BASIC and compiling it the way I've done, but um, yeah, so but that was suitable for this game, so that's great and that's basically it so you generate it within this basic editor basic as in simple and that converts it into basic code well I hope you didn't find that all too boring and the game if you want to give it a go is freely available uh, in the description there's going to be a bunch of links including where you can download it and some other YouTube videos and other pages related to the game uh, I think I'll leave it at that for today if there's anything specific you want to know about how I created this game leave it in the comments below and uh, Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and all that. Thank you very much.